computational design of walking automata. Creating mechanical automata that can walk in a stable and pleasing manner is a challenging task that requires both skill and expertise. We propose to use computational design to offset these requirements. Existing work can create automata, and some with linkages, but these are not designed to walk on surfaces, and their stability is untested. The goal is to design automata while considering these physical constraints. Given an initial design by a user, which, due to the complexity of the task, is unlikely to be successful at walking, we perform physical simulation within optimization, using a simple energy term constructed from intuitive metrics. This produces an optimized version of the automata. The parameters we optimize are the limb linkage configurations. To speed up optimization and lead to more successful designs, we learn offline a database of likely successful linkage configurations which can be applied to all designs. The user begins the design task by dragging and dropping linkages of specific class arrangements onto the body of an automata. This body can be of any shape. The likely success of a stable walk increases with the number of legs, and so we concentrate on harder designs with only up to four linkages. Given the design, we optimize in a physical simulation by minimizing an energy composed of five metrics for walking, for which we show the effect of their removal on the result. One to keep the robot upright in green, otherwise the automata learns to maximize distance moved by a somersault, one to maximize the distance traveled in orange, which when removed the automata walks on the spot, one to maximize smoothness of the automata in blue, finally two more metrics, one to minimize the net internal forces in the linkage, and one to minimize the deviation from the initial design. Our parameterization includes the linkage structural parameters and the timings of the cranks. If we only optimize the timing parameters, we can still produce stable motion, but this creates very inefficient gates with the automaton barely walking forwards. Our optimized result walks stably, whereas the initial configuration falls over immediately. We place symmetric parameter constraints on the pairs of front and back legs to reduce the design complexity. Compared to the initial design, our optimized version has a lowered center of mass which increases the stability and leads to a successful walking motion. Our physical prototypes validate our optimization and metrics and show agreement with the simulated output. Our parameter space is high dimensional and complex and our optimization approach is stochastic. As such, repeating the optimization can produce different outcomes, but all outcomes will walk stably as we see here with three different results from similar initial designs. For the lobster, we start with two legs, but the initial version again fails. Our optimized version uses its body as a third leg to support itself during the walking motion. The fabricated version again agrees with our simulation results. The change from the initial state previously in red is dramatic. While it is possible to optimize a version with the initial body design in simulation, for instance here in purple, it would be difficult to fabricate this to the tolerances required. As such, we additionally parameterize the height of the body of the lobster to discover and to fabricate this new gate in blue. Alternative designs exist. With decreased smoothness weight, this green design adjusts both of its legs in mid-air. This leads to faster motion, but also less stable motion. We adapt the biped with walker automaton example from Chorus et al, which in their example had a four-legged walker, but in ours, we only have a two-legged walker. While our optimization changes are subtle, the initial design immediately falls over. We explore a three-legged automaton. The optimization discovers a gorilla-like gait where a swing through and support motion is alternated between the middle and outer legs. Our final example shows how the optimization adapts to an asymmetric design between the front and back with a shifted center of mass. The initial design falls over and hits the head, while our optimized result balances the heavy neck.